hi guys how are you all doing um hope you guys are okay how are you preparing for christmas <sighs> i'm i'm at work i just completed my fourth night and to go on four days off so i'm really tired as you can see <laughs> i'm tired so i'm just going to have a lot of rest i'll be going for our christmas shopping today although i went to shop some things yesterday but i'll be completing the shopping today so i just want to show you guys the shopping part and yeah i'm very tired So guys, I already told you that I I went to the shop a day before this day. So um, I, I plan to get turkey, small size of turkey. But I got to the store and everything was gone. So they, they were left with medium and it was just a lot. So I couldn't get it. So I just plan to get to go get that uh, in the African store. So and that was what I did actually. Excuse me. I don't know. Um, um, small size turkey. It's just medium. I'm so tired of chicken. Eh? Ah, chicken, I beg you. I'm tired. <laughs> So anytime I go to Lidl, I usually make sure I get one of these pastries, especially muffins. But because I got muffins the other day I came, that was yesterday, and I just said, let me get this um, chocolate um, croissant. So I must get it just to pamper myself. I'll be in a work at the do. So make I also, <laughs> that's why I'm having ball juice to mark. Anyway, I usually get um, this, as well i just sprinkle um grounded pepper and it's good to go you just put it in the oven and it's good to go and i just discovered this um drink it's very nice i like it my husband likes it as well so i got two of them and i went to pay and head to um the african store so they're just opposite little is opposite almost opposite to so adjacent to so what they call it whatever the um, Kensington Africa and uh, Superstore. So I wanted to get vegetable shoko or a forte table. There was none. Everything was gone. So mm, even the way do nothing. I so I was just going to make do with the away do we um, I mean the goosey we have. So that's my moi leaf. Maybe next time I'm going to buy those to um, make my moi. And I got pound of yam, I got two and then um, went to the segment for for meat. Yeah. How much is it this? Twelve. Okay. Altogether forty one fifteen, please. Guys, this is eleven fifty eight and I just got home since eight o'clock that I left the house. Since eight o'clock that I left work, I just got home. The um got me we got for how much is it again? 11.25. This is one kg. This is one kg, 11.25. And um, this pepper is about one pound 13. This is pound of yam. 
1.5 kg, 5.99. I bought two. This yam is about five something, five pounds something. Plantain is about 65 pence. If I bought two because they don't have much, so I bought this one. I can't remember the prices, and I think I've lost the. Name. I got this and this, and so this turkey is two kilo, two kilos, and I got. I got it for how much again? I got it for yeah, nine thirty-six. It's better that I think this is better than me buying the one from Little. So. If you're coming to the UK newly, eh, charity stores are your best bet. Just go and you will see affordable things. I've been wanting to get these Oggs. Is it Oggs? They call it Abi Oggs. I think it's Oggs. Og. Og. Yeah. For days. But I've been seeing it for 26 pounds. 20. No, 30 pounds and all that. But this one is quite new and I got it today in a charity store for six pounds. Um, for six pounds fifty. So don't say I did not do something for you. <laughs> Go to charity store, guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely fun filled Christmas. You see that tomato behind me? I got it yesterday. And the um, noodles, I got them yesterday. Um, this tomato is four pounds. Yeah, it's four pounds, and the uh, noodles is about ten pounds, I guess. Yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, and um, I wish you a very happy new year in advance. I love you guys. So I decided to participate in secret santa at work and secret santa is just um like picking someone you you don't know who you are picking you they write all the names of staff those interested and you just pick a name so you don't tell whoever you picked that you picked the person and vice versa so it's just secrets and so we are, we are supposed to put these gifts under the tree the christmas tree at work and and everybody just picks their gifts but trust people now people's dispute they told who they picked and <laughs> i don't know so i went to this gift shop i didn't even know what to pick so i just went to this gift shop gift and card shop and um i got um i got a paper a paper a pink paper bag because pink is my favorite color and i'm picking a lady whatever so i got this um yes that pink bag this one and um a glass cup so i i felt bad because what i picked what i got was way more than what what i gave the person anyway um i've learned but i think this is really cute as well what i got i was really cute but i just felt like what i got was more expensive than that so this is what i got her um this i just put it i did not even wrap it you can imagine guys i did not wrap it i just got i just put it there and i put it under the tree at work and i looked for my own bag as well you can see that huge bag <laughs> in fact when i first saw it i was like ah, kilo -ah. day is this mine anyway i carried it and i took it to the staff room oh we have the same bag ah uh ah -uh. hey yeah Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, us get it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did you get? Um, I got a little ball from Hocus Pocus. Oh, oh. 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 oh.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to get this fleece top, or what do I call it? So I was so glad I got it. It's so cute and it's um two way, it's reversible. So it's so cute. And I got a card from one of the um tenants, yeah. Hi lovelies, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if it's your first time seeing my face, if it's your first time seeing my video, my name is Eunice and um it's just positive vibes here, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please just click on the like button. So apparently my eyes have gone bad. And um, recently, about four or five days ago, I entered the wrong bus because I did not see the place the bus was going properly. So I just said, yeah, it is high time I, it is high time I do something about it. It's high time I do something about it. So I have an appointment at the eye clinic today. And yes, see this my face. I'm tired. I don't know what else to do. I've used a lot. I've used a lot. I've used a lot. But I just recently started using this one, this acne night. Um, I think two days ago, and I've really all these ones they like they're getting dry. So I'm even tired. See how my face is looking so rough. The thing is even making me so sad. And I'm also using this um Dermatica. I've been using this one for I think a month now i did not see any improvement i did not even see anything so all my vitamin c syrup and everything i've even stopped them for now let this acne even just go first before i now start um smoothing anything out or anything so guys i'm ready to go but before i go <laughs> i want to do some tiktok videos <laughs> it's i don't usually dress up so let me do some usual tiktok videos before I go, the weather is so it's so calm today. <laughs> Do I say calm? The weather is sure okay today. The cold is not so much. So yeah. Have you been here before? No. I'll show you. Yeah. Um, I'm used to these stairs now. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to go up to the desk. Excuse me. Um, I'm here for um, a high test. Yeah. I was supposed to come upstairs here, but nobody has attended to me yet. Did you come to the desk and get around? No, 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 I was there and someone told me to come here. What name is it? Eunice. Surname? Suri Alawali. Okay, won't be a second. So someone told you to just come up here. Did yeah. you take a seat or did you come to the desk? He said I should take a seat. Right, it's okay, one second. I had waited for about 30 minutes before I approached that lady because I was wondering what was going on. No one was attending to me. So I was given a form to fill and I handed it back over to her and then the test began. Do you want to take a seat on the first chair? Thank you. Okay. okay. I'm going to do a couple of chin on the chin rest while I'm doing And then if you just rest your head on the bar in front. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. You're right. So are you okay for bright flash? Okay. Yeah. So right side first, in a moment, you're going to see a little green dot 
you just look at that for me keep it nice and still and uh, nice and wide uh, don't let me bore you guys with all these things so they were just the, the flash was um maybe should i call it like an x-ray yeah kind of because the ophthalmologist later showed me what it looks like so it's just my eye just like it's just an image of my eye kind of yeah so i was done here and i went back to the reception the ophthalmologist also carried out a series of um tests when i went to his, into his office i couldn't record because it wasn't okay with it i had to ask if it was okay with me recording and he said it wasn't so i was told to go check the frames i like i was testing the frames here and me being a lover of bright colors i just went for this one this purple one guys my vision is clearer hey ignorance is not good though hey i would have been squinting my face and you know trying to god my the colors are popping now i can see so very clearly ah uh, no so i wasn't um the optician said he wasn't comfortable with me recording so let me just give you guys a recap of what I, of, of what was done so um machines he used some machines um they checked some lenses and all that he told me to read some things on the wall and all that so that was what was done there and then he also said hey god guys <laughs> they showed me i was in the machine i my head my chin was placed somewhere and then um the eyes and every time you say isha, so isha he now said um i should look at the line they, they showed me a red line that what was i seeing i was seeing something like this something like this and he told me it's actually a cross that they showed me a cross and i was seeing he said i'm supposed to see four lines but i saw three lines so he said my enemy not me he said my enemy's um my enemy's eyes has the tendency of drifting apart that that's what it means it has a tendency of drifting apart so i need to um exercise my eyes he drew a line and placed some dots he just he explained the way to that I have to exercise it so that in the future uh, my my eyes will not drift apart god forbid it's not my own but then back to two years ago I was already advised to use this to take glasses so i said no i said no that i wasn't going to because i thought it was going to go bad he said now the man said well it was going to go bad anyways because what would be would be it was going to happen so it doesn't really matter if i took the glasses then or not it was still going to go bad so it's just to aid aid my vision so now my dears hey it's just like magic my so something is really wrong with my eyes true true hey something has been wrong with my eyes my, i can see so clearly now everything is just clear everything is just even the colors the, oh my god i've suffered myself <laughs> for me to even board the wrong bus i have suffered myself so guys um I just came down from the bus and I'm on my way home. I'm just I'm a bit late, so we just quickly let me quickly get home so I can um my husband and I and um my son we can go for the get together at my daughter's school. So see you guys. So the school sent an invite for parents and um they said it's for the old family shah that we should come, there's refreshment, there are this, there are that, games to play and we went there. They didn't tell us we have to pay for all these things. So everything, even this one that my daughter is doing, we paid, I think we paid fifty pence or so, or maybe one pound. We paid for them. We paid for every every game they have to play, we have to pay for them. The the refreshments we have to pay anyway we just made it fun for our girl and she she she, she had fun and she enjoyed everything
to come or that um, entry is free there is food there is um, refreshment there are refreshments there are this and that but they did not tell us we have to pay for it <laughs> they didn't tell us we have to pay for all this refreshment and everything so thank god we even held money so we still went there to <laughs> i trust my nigeria people they would have given us jollof rice and maybe fanta or something but we still had to pay for every single thing we did anyway guys thanks for thank you for watching please hit the like button it helps with my analytics please um just do this to encourage me and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and see you in my next video bye bye